we take you to part two of our exclusive interview with Levi Johnston, the father of Sarah Palin's grandson. Yesterday, he lashed out at Palin, admitting that he was going public with surprising allegations about the former Alaska governor because he was tired of her calling him a liar and a deadbeat dad. But he says he wants to distance himself from Palin and focus on his own controversial plans for the future. Levi Johnston has come a long way since he was first introduced to America a year ago. He's now a model, a pitchman for pistachios, and soon a Playgirl centerfold. What kind of image are you trying to create for yourself, posing for Playgirl and doing all these other things? You know, posing for Playgirl, a lot of people are going to look at it, you know, as you know, that's not a good image. I mean, but, you know, we got to think and we're going to do it tastefully and we don't want no bad boy image. I mean, I don't want to be looked at as someone who's getting naked for fame and that kind of thing. But you would understand people will look at it I'm that sure way. they will. Levi has been hard at work preparing for the upcoming shoot, training every day. And this 19-year-old Alaskan hopes the end result will be a physique fit for northern exposure. Are you afraid that you're embarrassing your family or the Palins or Bristol? No, I'm not going to go out there and just going to get naked. But, you know, I think when people see it, they're not, you know, it's not going to be like what they think. I think it's going to be good. What if Sarah Palin and her husband and her family see this and think, this is not what we're all about. This is not someone that we want close to our family. And this winds up pushing you further apart from them. I don't think it should matter what, in their eyes, what I'm doing. Um, She's doing her thing, I'm doing mine. You know, she's doing her book, she's quitting governor for her money. So I don't see how we're, you know, kind of on the same page here. Did she ever talk at home about wanting to leave her post as governor? The first time she'd said it was before the convention and afterwards she started getting money offers and stuff, for writing books and shooting for shows and whatnot. So I knew it was just a matter of time before she'd quit. Did she say she wanted money? Oh yeah. Is there anything that you wouldn't do for money? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things I want to do for money. Have you had offers that you've turned down? Oh, yeah. Cut? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. We had one that wanted me to go and do some wild things on camera for quite a bit of money, and we turned them down, but um, just different shows, dating shows. Levi says he just wants to do something he enjoys, but admits the money helps especially since he's become the sole provider for his mother and sister ever since mom Sherry went to jail for selling prescription painkillers. You go visit her? I do, yeah. What does she say to you? How is she holding up? She's doing fine. She's a trooper. You know, she's always been one to keep a good attitude and laugh and joke. So it's just crazy because, it's, you know, it's a big women's jail. And, you know, see me on TV and I go in there and it's just, they, they go nuts. What do they do? I uh, just hold up like cougar signs and everything else. It was hilarious, you know. Cougar signs? Yeah, what like I want to be your cougar and, you know, just crazy things. If I told you that you could choose between going back to your old life, being married to Bristol and raising your baby together, or this life where, you know, you're famous and women are throwing themselves at you, which would you choose? I wouldn't go back and change anything, but I do wish me and Bristol could hold a relationship and, you know, raise a baby. Levi claims Sarah Palin had other ideas about raising their son Trip. In fact, he says she approached him and Bristol with a plan to hide the pregnancy and then adopt the baby herself. It definitely hurt Bristol. She was she was almost like in tears, and you know it was it was it wasn't good. Did you ever talk about it again with her? Yeah, she mentioned it several times afterwards, but we just kind of blocked out. We didn't say anything, you know. And Bristol told her mom to shut up. Some people might say you purposely were trying to hurt her and therefore maybe exaggerating things. Is that possible? No. I stand by my story 100% and everything, and it's the truth. Do you feel that you were exploited by the Palins? Yeah, I think they uh, used me in the wrong way. What do you mean by that? Just throwing me into that and then saying, get out. It was uh, you know, kind of a bad move and wasn't right. So you feel like somebody who's been used and discarded? Mm-hmm. You know, now that I think about it, see how she really was, you know, I kind of, you know, I'm mad at myself that I wasn't, you know, put my guard up more. Do you see Sarah Palin in politics in the future? No, not really. Okay. I think her run's over after she quit that governor job. I don't think a whole lot of people uh, are happy with her. Is it too late to turn back now? Is it too late to save that relationship, reconcile with the Palins? Well, I don't, yeah. 
I don't see myself over there for Christmas or whatnot, so I don't know. After our interview yesterday where Levi said that he heard Sarah Palin refer to her son Trig, who has Down syndrome, as her retarded baby, Palin issued this statement, quote, these are her words, we have purposefully ignored the mean-spirited, malicious, and untrue attacks on our family. We, like many, are appalled at the inflammatory statements being made or implied. Trig is our blessed little angel who knows it and is lovingly called that every day of his life. Even the thought that anyone would refer to Trigg by any disparaging name is sickening and sad. CBS should be ashamed for continually providing a forum to propagate lies. Consider the source of the most recent attention-getting lies. Those who would sell their body for money reflect a desperate need for attention and are likely to say and do anything for even more attention. Of course, you heard we raised all those questions about credibility and his motivations for doing this with Levi, and you heard how he answered. But we should say that we've also offered more than a dozen times to interview Sarah Palin, but she has declined each of those requests.